First Punic War. You guys lost 200,000 men at sea storms. Surrender, please. No. Second Punic War. You guys just lost 150,000 men at battle. Surrender, please. No. Third Punic War. All our armies are defeated. Allow us to surrender, please. No. Oh, man. Did I just spoil myself for the next oversimplified video? I was intentionally not trying to look up the second or third Punic War, so I didn't know what happened. Spoiler alert, though. I guess Rome wins. The Arab world be like... It's as easy as crushing an ant. Oh, and here they go. Arab world going to crush an ant. Oh, wait a second. That's not any ant. Uh oh. No, don't hurt me. And this is pretty much exactly how the six day war played out. Oh boy, this meme has over 2,000 comments. I can't even begin to imagine what's happening there. Union generals blunders away yet another battle. I factored your stupidity into my plans, says President Lincoln. But frankly, I had no idea you were this worthless. Is this why it took the North four years to take out the South? I think it's safe to say they eventually got better though. Britain did not invade 92% of countries in the world. Hilter wanted Japan to attack the USA. Canada lost a war. 1921, the Russian Civil War, yes it counts, and diverting the Germans through Belgium wasn't a failure of the Maginot Line. It was literally the point. This man single-handedly just destroyed like 25% of all history memes. What's next? Is he gonna tell me there is no Queen of England? Blow my mind! Hmm. Cowboys in most Western films have more similarities to most samurai in the mid-1500s than actual cowboys. Oh, I can't wait to see the horrified look on his face after this. Yeah, samurais didn't necessarily only care for the blade. They were more than willing to use other methods. The French Navy fought bravely in WW2 against the no-no Germans, right? Against the no-no Germans, right? Yeah, before discussing who France was fighting in WW2, sometimes it helps to figure out what year it was first. German-occupied Vichy France is an interesting place. Mendeleev, after publishing the periodic table of elements. You got a source for that, bro? It was revealed to me in a dream. Oh, was he the Giga Chad that came up with this line? A century plus later, and we're still out here using it. A quote from him. I saw in a dream a table where all elements fell into place as required. Awakening, I immediately wrote it down on a piece of paper. Only in one place did a correction later seem necessary. Oh wait, the dream was the actual source then. There is no meme, just some hella nice calligraphy. Wait, was that supposed to rhyme? I'm still 100% on board of making this like an Olympic sport. Like whoever can write this perfect really needs to win some sort of medal or something. So basically, there's enough circumstantial evidence that we can confidently say there was intermittent but continuous contact between northern South America and west Mexico that most likely made use of balsa wood rafts that would spend months at sea sailing north before waiting in west Mexico for the currents and winds, probably bringing with them things like pretty much a whole bunch of metals and technologies and objects. This is talking about a pre-colonial America. A lot of focus is, I guess, in the Atlantic, but there might have been stuff going on in the Pacific as well. Is there also a theory that the first people to make it to North and South America weren't necessarily just using the Burring Strait? Some might have been arriving through the West Coast through some sort of boat. If that's the case, it's probably safe to say they were traveling from the West Coast of Mexico and going back and forth to, like, Peru. Carl the Twelfth of Sweden at 18. I faced a triple alliance of Denmark, Norway, Poland, Lithuania, and Russia. I immediately pieced out Denmark, smashed a Russian army four times my size, and replaced the king of Poland with a puppet. Me at 18. Mom, can you come to the doctors with me, please? Man, I didn't stop doing this until I was like 26. I get anxiety just to pick up my phone. Why can't I be like this Carl from Sweden at 18? That is why I support giving every teen absolute rule over Denmark at the age of 16 to truly show their mettle. I mean, why not? What else is Denmark doing, really? Nobody talks about Jesus' miracle of having 12 close friends in his 30s. I think the world record is currently having three in your 30s. This is probably his greatest miracle of all. Actually, maybe change that to 11. Girls, when they get a compliment, thank you. And once again, the topographical map of the Roman Empire. I love how the most random XD meme now won't die. I feel like people still get confused about when I say random XD. You kind of had to have a MySpace account to remember. Rawr. So random. Who cares about girls getting a compliment? Give me the topographical map of every ancient empire. I need to sit and stare at it for a few hours. Leo breaks his silence on recent split. Enough with the memes. The breakup had nothing to do with age. She thought Caesar was a tyrant. Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio is actually just a Roma boo. This explains everything now. It's actually crazy to me just how many historical movies he's done, but yet none of them have had to do with the ancient Roman Empire. I mean, you got Titanic, The Revenant, William Shakespeare. I mean, that was a weird one, but Great Gatsby. Like, the aviator, they all kind of somewhat take place in the past, at least the last, like, century. I want to know what Russell Crowe thinks about this. It's drip or drown. And brother...
I'm floating. No, no, what do you mean? This man's floating and he's still got drip. I'm trying to look like this when I go to the beach. A judge, two burgomasters, 14 city councilors, two regents, and a secretary, point zero zero one eight. supposed to be basically what it's like to live at any point in Czechia. They apparently really liked throwing people out of windows for some reason. Just kind of like a pastime, I guess. Europeans, LMAO found another coin from ancient Rome. This is gonna look so nice in my 800-year-old house next to the other 20 coins I found this week and the 1,000-year-old Celtic oil lamp. Meanwhile, North Americans. Oh my, a pool tab from the 1920s. This is so interesting. I don't even know what a pool tab is. Oh, a gambling ticket for a pool tab game, I see. This is why I always second guess myself whenever like talking about old things that I find in my state or country. Like 150 years ago is a long time compared to the US, but it's literally nothing to the Europeans. They're finding like thousand year old stuff all the time. You're so lucky. Why mark prisoners? Please, Mr. Dane, the war is over. Please don't execute me or send me to a prison camp. The Danish army. I I've thought of a better use for you. Oh, you poor German boy. You're gonna get to play a little game called Minesweeper, but it won't be on the computer, unfortunately. It's actually a great movie about this called Land of Mine. My friend, after we finish building the Tower of Babel, just unintelligible rambling going on. This wrestler always gave the greatest promos back in the day. You're about to launch a surprise attack in the Falkland War during the Battle of Goose Green. The BBC leaked it, and the entire world knows your surprise attack before it happens. So the BBC out here just committing treason, I guess. I'm guessing this is how Thatcher responded, or at least something like this. In gray, the countries that didn't declare war on birds. In red, the countries that did declare war on birds and lost. And in green, the countries that declared war on birds and won. All right, Italy, you're gonna have some explaining to do. The Italian army declares war on hens. Uh, okay. Oh, a tank crew made a mistake and hit a chicken farm. I think they obliterated every single one of them too. And this was unprovoked. That's no proper war. All hens across the world now have a proper war fabrication ready to go. Okay, technically Australia should be the only country that declared war on birds and lost. China won against the sparrows, and that's actually what led them to lose. They took out so many sparrows it caused a massive ecological imbalance. Germany joining NATO just 10 years after plumbing Europe into chaos and oofing millions of people. Nice to have you on our side. <laughs> that must have been... Um, quite the sight. The enemy of my enemy is my friend? Well, it was actually just the western part. Maybe they said the eastern part was just still the bad ones. U.S. government, we changed the type of gunpowder and we don't issue cleaning kits. Eugene Stoner, the inventor of the M16. You what? I don't even know what this is referring to and I'm just guessing that was probably a bad idea. Guess the M16 ended up jamming a lot because of this. So it wasn't even Eugene's fault. Never thought I'd die fighting side by side with a German. What about side by side with a friend? I. I could do that. Meanwhile, these US and German troops completely surrounded by the SS. Also, don't forget about the French tennis player. Mr. Spherical made a fantastic video about this if you want to check it out. Brace yourselves and here it comes memes. First Punic War memes. This always happens every time oversimplified drops a video. The meme community completely loses their mind. As they should. Ming Chinese treasure voyages versus European treasure voyages. Yeah, not quite as fun at all. There was a little bit of a different situation going on in Asia versus what was going on in America at this time, but still pretty funny meme. Man, I gotta get me some tributary states just like the Ming Dynasty. Countries today, you need a good reason to go to war. Meanwhile, England and Spain in the 18th century want to go to war over this ear in a jar? Yes. That's pretty much what was being done throughout most of history. There's like the bucket war too. We need to go back to the good old days where you could declare war for whatever reason. Just make it up. It's a lot more funnier back then. Great war MFers when the war is great. I don't know. I don't do history. Looks pretty historical to me. This is all they did during WW1, huh? Looks like a fun time. Getting toys instead of clothes for Xmas everywhere else in the world. Thank you for this toy, mother. No worries, baby. Getting toys instead of clothes for Christmas in Iceland. Why have you forsaken me, mother? Uh, I don't know. Strange Icelandic noises. This is known as the Yule Cat, a huge and vicious cat who is described as lurking about the snowy countryside during Christmas time and eating people who do not receive any clothes to wear before Christmas Eve. Now that is a great way to get children to be grateful. I remember getting clothes for my birthday and just like throwing it instantly. I was always pissed because it's like my parents didn't even love me. So in Iceland, these kids are literally begging for clothes. I'm not even Icelandic. I'm down to do this to my kids too. Ancient names, Nebuchadnezzar, Spartacus, Leonidas, Xerxes. Meanwhile, modern names. This is why, like, I make jokes about it, but I, I'm like seriously considering naming my son Achilles. Although that might be a bad omen. He's gonna like break his ankles. I'm down to bring this stuff back though. Like, you could just shorten this to Neb. I name my son this, everyone would think it's Leonardo, but they'd have no idea. He'd be able to slip through the cracks easily. During WW2, the Germans built a fake wooden air field with wooden aircraft, vehicles, and hangars in order to trick the Allies. The RAF, having known of the secret project for months, patiently waited for them to finish and then dropped a single fake wooden bomb on it. 
I guess you could say they do a little bit of trolling. That is the greatest thing I think I've ever heard. Let them waste time, manpower, resources for months, and then just acknowledge that you knew about it the entire time. This is how we won the war. Happy burning of the White House Day. This post was brought to us by British gang, you bloody traitors. I just think it's funny when Americans think that we won the War of 1812. You gotta admit it's at least a stalemate considering this whole thing happened. A kingdom that has once been destroyed can never come again into being Israel. Oh, I don't think so. To be fair, this was like thousands of years into the making. I don't think he could have predicted this. Oh, and then there's also Poland. The USA didn't win the space race. It only surpassed the USSR at the very end. Yes, that is what winning a race means. Oh, good point. I guess I didn't think about it. If you led the whole thing just up until the very end, you still get second no matter what. How people think time travel would be. Wait, tell something to prevent a tragic event. Greets back for the information. How it would actually be. Wait, dies from all the modern diseases and bacteria that you brought back from the future. Oh, yeah. I, I, I actually didn't think about this. Go back in time to give him a little bit of information to maybe further society. Only to turn out all humans are now gone. And big thanks to- My wife hates this part. My name is Walter Hartwell White. Drew's Argentinian the grandpa. The California Pavel and Nevada. Mexico bring back Polen Ball. The Mexican is $7.60. Is a lot true. Chris Dickens, Danny Evans, Price, Gamer, Space Period, Robert Pentagon, Matt Phillip, R.F. Terrorist, Animation, Chachi, and Why Am I Doing This?